about how to set up manual campaigns so i have already done my research using keyword research using helium 10 and uh, i have you know my google uh, i mean the excel file over here with all those keywords so i'm gonna go back to seller central go to advertising then campaign manager once again and then you're looking at create a campaign over here it's almost the same process as automated campaigns so click for sponsored look for sponsored products and click continue and uh, I'm going to name it stainless and then I'm going to choose a product so I'm choosing this product that I want to advertise and then I go to manual campaign instead of automated targeting targeting so first I can choose different keywords or I could choose the different products as well so in this one I'm gonna go with keyword targeting only and uh, if you know like what products that you want to target you can also do that uh, I would be you know so just like the keywords you just need to find the products that are similar to yours so in this one uh, I chose keyword targeting and then uh, I'm looking for broad phase and also the exact if you want to be very specific you can choose like exact only so this is my first campaign so I'm not really worried about my budget so I'm gonna just for the sake of getting a lot of lots and lots of data I want to go you know with all three options and I could you know enter a list over here you know from the excel sheet i have you could also upload a file if you have any okay so amazon also suggests you you know the keywords based on the listing that amazon is able to to extract okay so this is how you find there's there's a keyword research training as well I, that i highly recommend that you watch so in this one i want to enter you know uh, enter my list so just for the training purposes i'm only going to choose few of them so i have uh, the search volume over here i also have you know my top competitor where my top competitor is getting lots and lots of traffic from he's organically ranking on you know these many keywords at number one number two so what i'm hoping for is you know uh, at least target all the keywords which are you know he's ranking on at least top six okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy all of them and then i'll then i will consider removing them if needed okay so i've copied all of them i'm just going to go back and enter my list so uh, I'm going to review it once, see if I need to remove something. So like for example, this is a 45, my product is 40 piece. So I'm going to remove that, uh, everything else. Looks about right. Yeah, I don't feel like if I need to you know remove any keyword over here uh, maybe I'm just gonna remove this keyword because it's a 65 pieces set so this looks like a brand name so I'm gonna I don't want to target this brand so I would remove that uh, prime day silverware so I'm just gonna prime day is gone so I just wanna Amazon silverware I would just remove that as well uh, yeah so that's pretty much it so i would add all those keywords and default bid in this case you know there's lots of keywords so i would probably start with uh, you know yeah 56 that's fine you know i'll come back after two to three days and check how these are performing so i have all these keywords added so it, it's also giving me you know uh, like suggested bids over here uh, like how much i should be uh, spending so it has automatically you know put somewhere in the middle uh, I wanna what I wanna do I wanna change all of these to 56 
so what I, what I will do I will go ahead and change these to 56 cents to start with uh, and then I would track the performance you know you can do a uh, dynamic uh, up and down bid so in this one you know i want to go with fixed one for now but you can also you know depending on how what's your risk tolerance is you can you know always uh choose which bidding strategy that you want to go with in this case i want to go with the fixed one uh, just because it's a 56 cents and a manual campaign so i'm looking for like a really really you know good keyword so same thing you know change your campaign name set a budget so i want to start with maybe I want to put like 100 over here and then what you do is just launch a campaign okay so so what i need to do is you know just manually go i don't know if there's an automated way i think yeah there's uh yeah there's no automated way to uh apply on all like uh, the suggested bid you can apply on all but not the if you want to manual so i'll take my time and do change it to 56 to start with and then i would go ahead and launch the campaign thank you